Can you imagine living in a vacuum environment, for example, on the moon? You got one step closer now. A group of Chinese researchers have found that the lunar sample brought back by Chinese Chang'e 5 probe contains active compounds that can convert carbon dioxide into oxygen and fuel. So today, we paid a visit to Nanjing University in East China's Jiangsu Province and invited one of the finders to give us more details. In 2021, we received uh, the Chang'e 5 lunar soil and uh, we used it as the catalyst for in-situ resource utilization on the moon. We tend to use this kind of material to transfer the solar energy and the water by lunar soil into some kind of oxygen for, for human life and uh, hydrogen, methanol and methane as the fuels. Technically, lunar soil and uh, the soil on the, mo- on the Earth can, both can use it as the catalyst. However, based on our experiments, we found that the lunar soil is much better. The catalysis performance is m- much better than the soil on, this, on the Earth. The performance of lunar soil is around 10 times more than the uh, soil on the Earth. And uh, basically the reason is probably because of the wind, solar wind in the universe. The composition of lunar soil is rich in iron and uh, titanium. In the next step, we will, based on the lunar soil, we will construct a whole system to change the carbon dioxide and water, specifically from human beings, the exhaust from human beings, into hydrogen and oxygen and other fuels to support the future lunar life on the moon. And in the near future, maybe in 10 to 20 years, maybe we, the whole human life will be on the moon or even um, far away to the uh, Mars. So uh, our technology will support the, the uh, human life in the deep space exploration.